If you were to read an account of Sister Blandina's early life, you'd think she was a character in a novel. She was born Maria Rosa Sigali in Italy and came to America when she was four years old. She joined the Sisters of Charity at 16, and when she was just 22, she was sent on her own to minister in the Wild West. She was warned about cowboys, fought against lynch mobs, and had a couple of encounters with the outlaw, Billy the Kid. Now, the Vatican is examining her life as it considers whether to advance her cause along on the path to sainthood. In my eyes, she is a saint. She's one of God's gifts. Okay, here we go. The Blandina Room at the Sisters of Charity Mother House in Delhi is now filled with historical artifacts commemorating her life of service, sacrifice, and at times, adventure. I lovingly call her the wild Italian. And I, I, love, I love wild Italians. When she returned to Cincinnati, she was asked to help Italian immigrants. My grandma, she loved Blandina. Mary Jo Nugent was just a child when she met Sister Blandina. I used to have to go with my dad to go pick the nuns up, but he'd pick them up and bring them up to the church. And then Blandina would go to grandma's and grandma would make sure she'd bake a big apple pie for him. I liked her because she just talked regular, you know, no school talk. And there were no holy talk. She was so nice. Yeah. She really was. A planning committee is in place anticipating the day when Blandina, already declared a servant of God by the Vatican, becomes venerable. That's the next step on the path to being canonized. Interest in Blandina grew after our special about her aired, and the sisters received calls from people asking for prayers. It's an evolving list. Currently, we have 24 individual families or friends that are asking us to join them in praying for healing. And so they've reached out by having copies of her novena prayer. We, we beg, beg you, you that, that Sister, Sister Blandina Sigali. The sisters also say a prayer for Blandina's canonization. Amen. Amen. The Archdiocese of Santa Fe opened Sister Blandina's cause in 2014. This Cincinnati sister is revered in New Mexico and parts of Colorado where she spent her early years doing heroic work. There are now 45 miracles attributed to her intercession. And that number keeps growing. Blandina, I think, is, is very active. As I said, she's, she's busy and she's working. She's working here in Cincinnati and she's working a lot of places. Faith has come alive. Sister Blandina died in 1941 at the age of 91. And for some, her grave in Delhi has become a place of pilgrimage. If she were to be declared a saint, um, that would be a great tribute to her and the faithfulness that this woman um, offered in her service to others. Everybody, I think, is, is of the same opinion that whether she's canonized, that isn't really terribly important is the fact that people are turning to God and turning to prayer. And I think they're finding that their life is better. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.